Hey boofies, welcome back to the channel. Would you like, comment, subscribe, turn on this bell and post the video? You'll know when I post the video. I'm getting ready to go get my truck fixed because I know my brakes was acting up. I just got the brakes um, fixed at the beginning of this year before I had size, so I guess they probably out again. So we gotta go ahead and get my car fixed and join. Hey boofies, welcome back to the channel. Would you like, comment, subscribe, turn on this bell and post the video when you know we'll post the video. I'm just um, out here today just trying to get my car fixed. Understand how family do things and whatever. I know y'all y'all can't probably hear the wind, the window down, but it feels so good. It's crazy how family do things. I, I don't know. My kid's dad is supposed to come put the brakes on the damn car. He ain't never come. I hate when family do not show up or do not come when you ask me to do something. I'm not waiting on no fucking body to fix this damn car. It needs to be done. I already talked to another mechanic in the area. I was like, I needed my car done. It takes me two or three hours to get the, to, to get to him to drive down here to get to him. And another damn, it takes me two to three hours, okay? It takes me an hour to get to where I need to go at. It takes me about another 30 minutes, I gotta go back to the stores. I hate when you have to get your car fixed or get anything done and somebody tells you, oh, you don't have the right um, part, or you got the wrong part, or you know, I need the front brakes, or I need the back brakes. I hate that shit, man. So I be like, you know what, I'm gonna do what I gotta do, go ahead and get the back brakes and the front brakes. Either or, which one ever you need, because I just got brakes done on this car back here when I was pregnant with Si. And I had Cy in August, so I asked the lady um, when I was in the AutoZone, I was like, so what do I have to do to, um, with my car? I said, can I just trade it in? She said, well, you can trade it in and get it for free. You ain't gotta pay nothing. I said, well, I'm gonna have to pay because I gotta drive an hour and a half to get to the man. So I might as well go ahead and get the front and back brakes and get it out the way. So I went in the store and I got the front brakes and I got the back brakes. I ain't the plan to go to uh, front right here. And I got the back brakes. I said, oh no. I got the back right here. I got the back here. The front right here. I'm not playing. I gotta get my car done. And you know, I'm I got time to keep trying to sit up in no mechanic shop all the time. And see, you got them bootlegged mechanics that be doing better than the ones that were doing it in the shop. So I'm going to a, a um, bootlegged mechanic. He's got his own shop outside of his house. But he's real good because he fixed my truck the last time my truck went down. When I was on TikTok, everybody um, helped me out to get my truck fixed, and I had appreciated that so much. So I got the brakes done and the battery the last time my truck went down. And um, it was a blessing to have that on TikTok. You know, I really do miss being on TikTok because I got a lot of true supporters on that app that are willing to help me do things that I need help with and just don't even think about what the negative be saying. They just help me out, and I appreciate all that. But, you know, basically, I said to myself, thank God that I'm alive and breathing me and my children. We here today to see another day that I'm going to go out here and handle my responsibility. My son um, and his daddy did came by the house. He dropped off Papa and Aisha for a while. So I decided to go ahead and let Papa sit with the kids um, for a while while I handle this. And I'll take them back later on this afternoon, him and HJ. HJ thought he was about to stay home. Um, but I told him no, he can stay up until about the end of July, maybe. I'm not too sure about that, but maybe end of July. Cause he loved his brother Papa and Aisha got a bond nobody can't break. I'm driving down this long road, y'all. Just thinking about a lot. Sometimes I just get in my car and just drive. Sometimes when I don't have nothing to do, just to ease my mind. Because it, it eases my mind. I got 10 kids, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of things that goes on up here in my brain. You know, that I can't really talk too much about on social media. Cause you know how I, I told y'all in all my videos, we just take my videos sometimes and turn it into something. And make something out of nothing. I hate that. Oh, I gotta get over. Now get you say get over. Get over, get over, get over. Oh, okay. So my grandma buried it down on this side. Oh, okay. So they brought me all the way out here on this side of town. You gotta make a left up here. Alright, cool. But anyways, sometimes I just been out on social media, but I love doing what I do and I do it best. And I appreciate all the support on my channel. Um another thing I want to talk about is Kira surgery. It is coming up. Um, I can't say exactly what day, but it's coming up. I just spoke with the doctor about an hour or two ago. And, um, y'all know y'all heard, I know y'all hear them breaks. And, um, she was like, well, the St. Jules Hospital? I remember seeing it on TV. I think it's St. Jules, something like that. I don't know, but I remember seeing it on TV. But that's not the hospital she had to go to now. And then she had to go to another hospital. Because I was asking, I said, is it the St. Jules Hospital? She said, no. I think the St. Jules Hospital is for the cancer patients. But I had asked her that question. She was like, nah. 
since she'll send everything through the mail and let me know where I have to go at and what time I gotta be there. But I know exactly what date is on to where I can get my um, transportation set up. And um, somebody was like, Medicaid will pay for y'all to go, but I'd rather drive down there or get um, her daddy or my sister somebody to drive down there and take me down there for her surgery because I don't want to take a Medicaid van down there and you know we get down there and I can't get a ride to get back so I'd rather have stable transportation on that day that she told me that it's gonna be she's gonna send it to me and let me know what time to be down there so whatever time I gotta be down there I probably leave the night before the day before and get a motel room down there and stay and then leave in the motel room to go to wherever we gotta go at for her to get her surgery done I don't understand people in life situations when they try to go up there and be judgmental on people's lives. Like somebody got a lie about a heart surgery. The doctor simply said in the video what she needed done. Like something like this at a time like this, it's, it's no time for negative. That's the reason why sometimes I feel like not just addressing certain things, but sometimes I have to address it because to let people know that I see these damn comments. Damn, they're building houses down there. Wow. That's crazy. I see these comments. Sometimes they just be like stupid dumb to be talking negative out the side of their neck when I know what I gotta do for my daughter, my baby. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I ain't worried about all that shit. Let's keep it pushing. It's, you know, you can comment and say what you wanna say. Come on to another video and say what you wanna say. Hey, grandma. My grandma. Has the grave site. I know that lady the death do his part. So I think I gotta turn. Yeah, they say turn right here. Damn. It's a long ass drive. I ain't lying. And it's too hot for the kids to be in here. Like that Papa did. But I was just here. We watched them. Sheesh. So I turn right here. Go down here. Okay. But anyways. Yeah. People just so ne negative. And I see somebody comment underneath the comment that the person said a lot about the surgery. And they went ham on that person. I appreciate the support. Because people are crazy. But um, other than that, everything, life is good. Everything's going great. Ain't no complaining to worry about nothing right now. I got the bills paid off. I got my mindset for the kids, school clothes and supplies this year. Hairs need to be cut and braided, so we're gonna get all that stuff done and get it out of the way. I think he stayed somewhere. The weather is beautiful today too, y'all. Didn't let y'all see the clouds and I always talk about the weather. It's beautiful today. It's not really no clouds up there. It's a blue sky, but I'm gonna let y'all see um right now. I don't know what it is, but I just love trees and the sky. It's so beautiful. If I ain't past that man's house, because he got his own little parking garage. I think it's coming up on this hill here. But I thank y'all for all y'all support on our channel, and I appreciate it for real. I'll be trying to keep the videos coming and keep them longer like y'all ask. I don't know how long y'all want it to be, but I try. It looks good out here today, y'all. Oh, I think I passed the man house. I don't remember coming this far down.
nitrogen monoxide work done. Headlight bulb, 